Hi, I'm Dr. Allen from Jones Animal Hospital. Welcome to Vet Visits. Today we have kind of an interesting topic that is kind of near and dear to my heart because keeping people and pets safe is part of what I do. The topic of today's program is keeping your pets safe from your kids and keeping your kids safe with your pets. Kids and pets go together and I think it's a great thing if kids are raised with dogs and cats and dogs and cats are raised with kids. They all seem to get along and do well. They have to learn to get along though and kids of certain ages you know, do really well with the dogs and cats. Um, sometimes younger kids have to have you know, some coaching as to appropriate ways um, to interact with the dogs and the cats and that becomes the parents responsibility. Um, first thing to realize is kids especially young kids should never be left unsupervised with pets. Um, pets will sometimes do things you wouldn't expect, even pets you've had for years, and keeping the children safe is really, really important. Teaching the children appropriate ways to approach pets, um, their own pets, and strange pets is really, really important. First thing is always teach them to ask with a strange animal um, if they may pet them or have you asked the person who has the animal, is it okay for my child to approach your pet? You know, most people will give you an honest answer. You say, no, my pet's not comfortable with kids, or sure, my pet's used to them. So always ask permission first. Teach children to go low and slow, and that's really, really important. This is my dog, and I trust her completely. I am quite satisfied no matter what I did, she would not try to bite me. So I'm gonna do some things with her that you should never do with a strange dog. Dogs don't like you to come in high. They don't like you to come in high. They don't like you to come in fast. That this kind of motion like this, if a dog is anxious or prone to snap, is going to just about guarantee you that you're going to get snapped at. Dogs like for you to come in slowly. They like for you to come in low. So coming in low, up under their head, giving soft pets like this, um, down like this, you're very unlikely to get snapped at, even on a dog that's anxious. Keeping your voice low, um, soft tones, low volume, those kind of things all help to reassure the dog, help not to provoke them um, if, if they're anxious to snap as a defensive thing. Teach children never to reach down to kiss an animal. Kids love to kiss the dogs and cats and they're sitting there putting their faces down like that all the time and that scares me to death. For one thing, I know how quickly a dog can snap, even a dog that you wouldn't ever suspect of that. And they're not attacking. There's a big difference between a dog attacking somebody and a dog just snapping, meaning I want you to get out of my face. But if a child's face is right down there next to the dog's face and the dog just snaps at it, it's very easy, unfortunately, for the dog to make contact with the cat and then you have, or with the child, and then you have a child that's been bitten in the face and that, you know, can scar them um, both physically and, and mentally and affect their interactions with pets the rest of their life. So always coach and teach your children not to put their faces up to the dog's face. That's really, really important. Dogs like to be petted. Dogs, for the most part, don't like to be hugged. Children like to be hugged. Mommies like to be hugged. But the dogs don't like to be hugged. You see the children coming in and grabbing the dog in a big bear hug and giving them like this. And this dog will tolerate almost anything I do. But most dogs don't think that's such a swell idea. So teaching your children just to be soft and gentle and just to pet the animal and not do things like big hugs, like putting their faces down to the dog's face, those things will help you to keep your child safe um, with both your own dogs and with other people's dogs. Um, teach children to respect the dog's face, to respect the dog's bed, to respect the dog's food and water, things like that. Um, most dogs in households with lots of children are, are pretty tolerant about things, but sometimes dogs will be possessive or intolerant about people messing with their food bowls, their water bowls, their beds, that kind of thing. So teach children to respect the pet's space and to leave them alone when they're eating. Um, if the pet's there asleep, don't run up there loudly and wake them up. Sometimes a startle response is to snap. Um, and that doesn't mean it's a bad animal, it just means it got startled and that's a normal animal's response. Teach them to go in slow, to pet gently, and to be respectful of the pets. Kids and pets go together and they can live safely together and it enriches everybody's lives. But it's very, very important to teach your children basic safety with dogs and cats to help keep the people safe and help keep the pets safe. 
If a pet gets a reputation for snapping at children, that sometimes means they lose their happy home, and nobody wants that to happen. I hope this has been useful. I'm Dr. Allen from Jones Animal Hospital. Thanks for watching Vet Visits. Thank you.